After the Civil War, the country started to alter as a result of technological advancements. Three factors led to these developments. One, a plentiful supply of natural resources. Two, government support for companies and innovation. And three, a burgeoning urban populace that was eager to purchase the new goods. Oil was one of the more significant natural resources. Kerosene's application as a lamp fuel was discovered in 1840 by a Canadian geologist. Oil was used to manufacture kerosene, and as a result, Americans now demand more oil. Edwin L. Drake drilled for oil in 1859 using a steam engine. This technological advancement contributed to the beginning of an oil boom in Texas, Kentucky, Ohio, Illinois, and Indiana. In Cleveland and Pittsburgh, businesses started to refine oil, converting it into kerosene. Gasoline is a further byproduct of oil. Gasoline was initially discarded, however, as cars became popular, there was a huge demand for fuel. Americans learned that their country was abundant in coal and iron in addition to oil. In Minnesota, huge deposits of iron were discovered in 1887 by explorers. The production of coal also rose throughout this period, rising from 33 million tons in 1870 to more than 250 million tons in 1900. Iron is a sturdy metal, but it is cumbersome and prone to rusting and breaking. Carbon was eventually taken out of iron. This resulted in non-rusting, lighter, and more flexible metal, steel. Henry Bessemer, a British businessman, invented the Bessemer process which turned iron into steel. Steel was immediately used for a variety of things in America. With thousands of miles of track, the railroads purchased a sizable amount of the new metal. Steel was also employed to enhance agricultural implements like the re reaper and the plow. Bridges were built using steel by engineers. The Brooklyn Bridge was among the most amazing bridges. In addition, steel was used to construct skyscrapers like the Chicago Home Insurance Building, formerly known as the Sears Tower. Starting in the late 1800s, inventors created things that transformed how people worked and lived. In Menlo Park, New Jersey, Thomas Edison founded the first research laboratory in history in 1876. He created new inventions in that lab. There, Edison developed the first light bulb. Then, Lewis Latimer's development of a carbon filament assisted Edison in improving the light bulb. Compared to earlier filaments, this one held its charge longer. Later, Edison proceeded to build energy generating and distribution facilities. America was altered by the use of electricity. By 1890, electricity was used to power devices like printing presses and fans. Homes quickly had electricity available. This sparked the creation of numerous appliances. Cities created electric streetcars to facilitate and reduce the cost of transportation. Urban areas began to spread as a result. Additionally, electricity allowed companies to be more flexible with the location of their factories. They may set up shop in regions with a lot of people, a lot of natural resources, or with convenient access to rail and water transportation lines. This adaptability pro promoted industry expansion. Christopher Scholes invented the typewriter in 1867. The workplace saw significant adjustments as a result. The telephone was created by Thomas Watson and Alexander Graham Bell in 1876, which was nearly 10 years later. 
Both of these innovations changed how office work was done and helped women get jobs. About 40% of the nation's office workers were women by 1910. Additionally, jobs that were once performed at home, like stitching clothes, are now completed in factories. More garment workers were required since companies were producing such large quantities of garments. These laborers were largely female. The benefits of innovation were numerous. A shorter work week resulted from machines enabling employees to work more quickly. The country's standard of living was also raised by inventions. New immigrants seeking a better life were drawn by this. As a result, there were more consumers and workers.